Keith here. We've got a question that was asked on the course related to the session timers or the session dash expires header and kind of how that works on who is acting as the refresher. So let's go over that. We have in the below scenario, which invite decides who is a refresher since there are reinvites. On the left hand side, there's a SIP proxy and on the right, you have the customer PBX. Seems like the proxy is refreshing every 15 minutes. All right, so in this example, let's just kind of go over what uh, what I can see from what I've got from the screen snippet here and then the timers listed on the right. All right, so the left-hand side sends the initial invite. So in this example, the left is acting as the UAC in this transaction. And there's no session expiry timer listed. So what that makes me think is that there is a either a supported or a required header that has the option of timer listed in that. Okay, And so that is why when the right side, which is acting as the UAS in this transaction, it adds that session expires uh, header into there. So when no uh, session expires header is added into an initial invite coming from the UAC, the UAS is able to pick who will refresh at that. You know, it could say UAS or UAC. It has the choice there because it wasn't specified. In this example, the right acting as the UAS says, I want the UAC to be the refresher and I want it to happen every you know 1800 seconds or 30 minutes so in this case right here right now at this top section these first three lines the refresher is on the left all right we then have a reinvite that happens very shortly after about eight seconds after and this time the UAC and the UAS actually flip in this transaction because the right side initiated the request method the invite going over toward the left, now the right is acting as the UAC. So it sends the invite out with the, the session expires timer saying UAS, which means that right now on this transaction, the UAS is on the left. Okay, we have the 200 OK that occurs uh, coming from the UAS in this example or in that transaction, session expires 1800, unchanged refresher is UAS. The session refresh is remaining on the left on this. Next one happens a little bit later, pretty short time after, same session expiry timer, refresher equals UAS. Again, this time, the UAC is on the right because it initiated that transaction. So UAS, is on the left, still remaining on the left. So it said refreshers UAS, so left refresh. Uh, the left side resp responded back as the UAS with a SIP response code and said refresher equals UAS. So this section right here, we are still refreshing on the left. And so then 900 seconds later, a reinvite comes from the left. The left is now the UAC because it initiated that request method for this new transaction. And it says refresher is UAC. The UAS on the right now responded and said, OK, session timer 1800. I'm not changing that. Refresher is UAC. You can continue to refresh. The refreshing stays on the left at this point. Um, another 15 minutes later, 900 seconds, there is a new reinvite that comes from the left, left acting as the UAC because it sent the request method. It says session expires 1800, refresher is UAC. The right side as the UAS responded back and said, okay, session expires 1800, refresher is UAC. So it remained on the left. For this entire call here that we have, the refresh remained on the left. Now, one question might be that why is it refreshing at uh, 900 seconds roughly? So 
according to the RFC, which is, I think, um, RFC, yeah, 4028 session timers, it says that it is recommended that once half of the session expires timer is listed, that the session gets refreshed. So, as the session expires timer lists 1800 seconds, we get the refresh at 900 because the UAC in this example on the left, who is acting as the refresher, is going off of the recommended value. Now, if there was a min SE timer in there, that could be specified as something different, uh, which would be perfectly fine, but by default, most SIP stacks are going to go off of that 50% range. So that explains why it's happening every 900 seconds or uh, 15 minutes. Hopefully that answered your question on this one. If you have any other questions about it, please let me know. Thank you.